Hi and welcome to TechNut. For the last couple of weeks we've seen the smashing success with the launch of Pokemon Go, but there's been little love for Windows Phone users. So I was very happy to find the Pogo UVP project over at GitHub. It's a non-official client for the Windows Phone. And in this video we're going to show you how to get it up and running. Let's start by checking out the GitHub page for the project. As you can see, Pogo UVP is a really new release, so there could be a lot of crashes and bugs that you'll have to live with, at least for now. The things you can do in the app is also currently quite limited. You can catch Pokemons and you can get the contents of the Pokestops around you, but there's not much else that you can actually do today. There are a lot of things on the developer's to-do list, and if you do like the application and think it looks promising, I would strongly encourage you to send him a donation so that he can keep up the good work. If you want to do the things that you can't currently do in the application, you could use the Android emulators such as BlueStacks on your Windows PC to actually evolve Pokemons and stuff like that, which you cannot do in the application today. But as I said, support the developer if you like the application. The application is currently only available on Windows Phone 10 devices, and I will be using it on my Microsoft Lumia 950. Before we can actually do anything with the phone, we need to make sure that we have an account to sign into. So you need to sign up for the Pokemon Trainer Club. And there's another prerequisite that you need to take care of as well. Before you can actually use the application on your phone, you need to select your starter Pokemon and set your nickname. And you need to do this on an Android or iOS device. If you don't have one of those, please check out BlueStacks. It's a free Android emulator that you can use on your PC. If you want me to do a tutorial on that as well, please let me know in the comments below. Once you've done all that, we can get on with the installation. Next, you'll need to download the application files from GitHub. There are three files that you need. I've created a folder on my desktop with the three files in them. You will find the download links in the video description. Unfortunately, I don't have the necessary cables to project my screen and capture it for you, but a few screenshots will probably do just fine, as it's a fairly simple process. The first thing that you need to do is go into the settings menu on your phone. We need to get to the For Developers section. I find the easiest way to get there is just searching for it. First, set developer features to developer mode. Enable device discovery and the device portal. Make sure you note the IP address as we'll be using it in the next step. Take the IP address from the last step and enter it into your browser. In my case it will be https colon slash slash 192.168.1.51. We'll get a certificate warning, but in this case it's safe to ignore it. Next, we'll need the PIN. You'll get this by clicking the pair button under device discovery on your device. Proceed by entering the PIN displayed on the screen in the web browser. I will choose to remember this computer. Next, go into apps. We'll go down to install apps and select the Pokemon UVP. Next, you'll add the two other files as dependencies and click Go. So this will start uploading the files to your device and install them. Once this process has been completed, you should see the application in your application list. After waiting a couple of minutes, I could see the application on my phone. So of course, I started it up. And after waiting a few minutes after the sign-in process had completed, I could see my nearest Pokestop. I tapped it and it looked pretty much exactly as it does on an Android device. By tapping it again, I get the content just as you would expect, so so far things are working just fine. I also managed to find a Rattata. As you can see, the camera is not being used, but by tapping the Pokeball I was able to catch it, so that seems to work as well. Of course, there was no way for me to tell what happened to the Pokemon, considering that there is no inventory of Pokemons available in the application itself. But, trust me, signing into the Android device, I could see the Rattata being there. So, so far the application does exactly what it claims to do. And that's all there is to it. You're now ready to catch Pokemons using your Windows phone. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.